every time that I say that one third of all food that's produced is wasted, I'm still shocked at the volume and, and the scale that food waste represents. For me, it's really a nonsense to waste food. A world uh, without food waste is a, a greener world and uh, for sure a more joyful world. I'm Nina Granucci and I will show how to stop food waste by using the power of fermentation. I don't think it was a big surprise for my family that I ended up working with the food. Growing up in Brazil, I had uh, my own private garden where I was uh, growing fruits and vegetables and I was selling them as well to my sisters. <laughs> so I think uh, I always had this close relationship uh, with the food. Coming from Brazil, where the level and the scales are so big, especially for the food industry, you kind of uh, understand the scale of the problem. To produce food, you need also land, you need water, and uh, when you waste uh, food, you also waste all the resources that are used to produce the uh, food. It's a global problem and it's a huge problem. I was doing a PhD in biotech. I always wanted to do something with fermentation because for me, fermentation is uh, magic. It's the one of the most sustainable way of transforming uh, raw materials. there was this realization of the amount of food waste that's produced. I had the idea that fermentation could be a solution. We start in France. France uh, make a lot of sense as an agriculture country, so we had the raw material to work with as a fermentation country, because all the iconic uh, uh, food from France is actually fermented, the wine, the bread, the cheese. After a fruit, a vegetable are processed, everything that's come out is the byproduct. So if we take apples, they come from the compote industry in France. So after they squeeze for the pulp, the skins and seeds that are left, in the worst case scenario, they really are wasted for landfills. So we collect the skins and seeds, we prepare them for fermentation, we add our microorganism that will do the transformation. After some time of incubation, we collect, we dry and we grind and we have a powder and this is the flour. So it's a minimal processing. It's really the fermentation that will do this transformation. And this powder can be used as a flour for bread, as a texturizer for tomato sauce, but also for different applications like cocoa alternatives. So an example, we can do chocolate, so we replace cocoa and we can create then a chocolate that's more sustainable for the food industry. And the fermentation will do this transformation and change the flavor, change the nutrition and the functionality of the raw material. To produce wine is my job. Uh, but you know, if you look at the vineyard, we are not only producing fruits, we are producing leaves, we are producing canes, we are producing skin. We have plenty of nutrients that we can use in a lot of different aspects. So we are very happy to be able to work with Nina to innovate. We are able to make chocolate, you know, with our grape skin. And that taste it, it just tastes so good. We have a circus, we call it circus in the family. Circularity process that I think all agriculture today should have. And I think there is also this aspect of uh, fermentation being a natural and healthy way to process food. If we think about uh, milk, and then you see so many types of cheese, or if you think about uh, the grape juice, and then you think about wine, it's fermentation. So you can use in so many industries as a really sustainable, natural solution. What we are doing is actually keeping food as food producing ingredients that are better for you and better for the planet. <laughs>